Well, hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. So if you watched yesterday's video, we got our beacons made. So we now have these speed boost and jump boost and everything here at our base. Although, unfortunately, I did notice after after making that episode that the uh, the boost doesn't work when we're down here in our in our XP farm. These eventually go away. They only last to uh, right about here or so, so it doesn't quite stretch far enough. Um, I thought about moving them somewhere else. I'm not sure if I could actually just move them. Maybe if I just moved them like uh, five blocks to the left, that might help. I do kind of want to keep them a little bit space from the house, but I guess I could just move them a little bit farther over because they also don't reach very far over here. Actually, they reach a little bit too far if you think about it because they reach past these villagers and over to right about here, but it doesn't reach over to the nether farm or the nether portal. So when I'm coming back through the nether portal, I don't get my boosts right away. So. Um, I don't know, I might try and find a new place for that, or I might just try and get more, uh, more beacons to cover more space. That's kind of, that was kind of the plan originally, so. Anyway, so today I figured I would, uh, work on this train station. It's been kind of bothering me that it just looks so unfinished over here. Every time I come over to this, uh, skeleton farm, I notice that it's just something that I kind of never got finished, so kind of wanted to start with this uh, I think yeah we'll just uh, start with the walls first and go from there um, I was thinking about moving uh, moving either moving this closer to my house or something like that but I guess I figure it's probably just easiest to go ahead and leave things the way they are especially down all the redstone underneath it would just be just be a little bit annoying to have to redo everything like that so um, I've got a little bit of a plan in mind but I don't have things exactly um, set in stone yet uh, but um, yeah, so just gonna do this little building. Um, I, I wouldn't mind putting a door on the front. Let me get that made out of iron. Actually, that actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, that way it kinda encases the iron rather than having iron on the front. I don't know. I don't know. Just kinda experimenting with it all right now. Um, let's see, that could go there, and there, what if we put, oh yeah, that's great. Okay, so that'll look good on the inside. What else can we do? We can do that. Should we just bring this across? Hmm, I don't know. Does it look better if that sticks out? I don't want to do something like that, like, I don't know, this is such a weird shape to build with, like, I don't know, this is definitely odd, definitely odd, so we'll get that, um, what all do I really need, I don't even need that, I don't need that either, so that means I don't need this, or that. So what if we just stick with minimalist and go like that? Actually, that's okay. What if we did that? Mm, I kind of like it better with the iron there. So yeah, I'm just kind of experimenting and stuff. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks okay. I realized I forgot to bring glowstone, so let me run on back. So, how is this going to look back here? Um, if we put glowstone on this one and this one, then we'll continue the pattern from there. So that puts it on the corner. What if, I guess, what if we just... Oh, 
that's just bound to happen throughout this building process. We'll have to go recover our our uh, lost mine carts once we're done. But, so if we did that, then we could... This would be the center one here. Let's try that. It's going to look funny on the outside of that one. But it looks good on the inside. Looks a little funny there. Hmm. Um, I guess it's not going to be perfect, but at least it is finished. I also got to get some sandstone. Continue this out. And then we can fill that in with sand. So then glass will go there. So that way this place will be a little bit more encased once we, uh, when we're using it for travel and stuff like that. Although it's obviously not going to get used very often, so certainly not a crucial thing to our, uh, to our adventure here. But, um, yeah, it's mostly the fact that if I do use it, I don't want to get surprised by being surrounded by mobs once I do show up in uh, in the train stations so yeah keep things reasonably safe let's go down there and grab those other those other carts that were down here and let's go ahead and ride one back up actually so then we just kind of walk on out the train station like that so, not too bad. I guess it could have a door on it. What would it look like if I put a door on it? Um, I guess I would need to swap that out for iron. I guess I don't need to, but I can switch these back. Make it look a little bit more expensive using iron for building purposes yeah that's that's cool I guess it's not crazy awesome but it's cool enough I guess it would be nice if it was pressure plate but I think there is no there's not I could do that I could do a pressure plate there I think that's what I should have done with those two pieces of stone, damn. Well, let me go get a pressure plate. So getting in there is probably still going to be with the button. But you'll be able to get out easier. I just don't want mobs to be coming in um, the opposite direction, you know what I mean? So we got to have that on a, on a button to get in. It's not going to be a very good hiding spot just because you're going to come in and and you're going to you're going to walk in and you're going to turn around and be like, ah, ah, why are they coming in? It's like, I'll see who I'll just peek out and see who's there. Oops, door opens. So it's not going to be the greatest hiding spot in the world, but and we don't necessarily need a second button in there, but we'll have it just in case. I don't know, just in case something were to happen. So. Let me go run back and find a bed real quick, and we'll finish off the roof. Okay, so this is definitely awesome being able to run twice as fast. I uh, I forget how much I get used to it and how much I how much I love being able to run twice as fast. So I love the speed boost for sure. So okay, so I need to craft some quartz slabs here. Let's see if that's enough. It's Probably not going to be enough, but we'll see. Um, so let's do there and okay. So I'm just gonna do like a checkered board pattern on the roof, quartz slabs and stone slabs. There. There. 
Oops. Jumped off the backwards. Although it is nice that we do kind of have this sort of built-in stairwell. So we'll do that. Oops. A couple of misplaced blocks there. Dang it. <laughs> um, that there. Quartz on these. So I do need to craft a couple more, but probably just like one one uh, one stack, not a stack, but uh, one one swipes worth. So we'll put those there and there. I think that's it. Oh, we got a couple more quartz missing. All right, that's our bit. Oh, one mismatch spot. That is not quartz. Oops, two mismatch spots. And I can't get out because that's where our glass pane is at. Damn it. And I don't want to go that way because that's where the switch was at. So put that on and that on. Okay, now things look good. I can't even jump up there, but looks like the pattern is correct. Okay. So I guess I would call that project complete. It's not the best looking build in the world. It's actually kind of ugly. This this roof doesn't match the... This roof doesn't match. Like, it matches the iron, but it doesn't match the sandstone. I'm not super happy with it. But I guess it'll do. Let me take out a couple of blocks here. That'll go there, and... Make that a little bit more of a slope. It'll match. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. Hmm, I guess I am not too satisfied with that roof. Um, what if I were to make it all out of just this stone slabs? Might have been getting carried away with the whole quartz part of it. So, even just the outline I could do in stone, and then on the inside you would see the checkerboard pattern, but not on the outside. So, we'll see how that looks. That looks a little bit better. I think I like that. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Um, not a hundred percent on the glowstone and all that stuff, but the roof is definitely better. That is definitely better. That looks like a train station. So I suppose I am going to go ahead and call that complete. Let me, I guess let me check in the inside. See if, yeah, I'm okay with that having the checkerboard pattern inside. Actually, I think that's cool that it's a little bit different. Okay, so it seems like things still work. It looks like we get dropped off in the right spot. And uh, so yeah, machine's still working. And we got a nice protective building around it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call that project complete. And I'll probably make it a short episode for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for coming to hang out every day here at 4 o'clock Mountain Time and uh, playing some Minecraft. So come back again tomorrow, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of a project with the animals. I want to get them moved around a little bit. I had way too many cows. I had to kill off a bunch of cows to, to make, uh, make the leg a little bit better and uh, killed off a bunch of chickens so they don't need near as much space, so I thought I would organize them a little bit better. So come back again tomorrow and check that out. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.